Hello, everybody. As you all know, we're obsessed with period drama series. Even though there are millions of historical productions, we believe period dramas are their own specific subgenre within that broad genre. In order for a historical piece to be a period drama, it needs charm, aesthetics, extravaganza, romance, and lots of wholesome scenes. Now, you may challenge this view, but in our opinion, the best period dramas are the ones that take place in 19th century England. The period, known as the Regency era, is a highly romanticized time in history, mostly due to its fashion and aesthetic. Besides, the authors of the era were highly descriptive in their prose, proving that a certain segment of the society was living in a particular way that sounds incredibly attractive to modern people, including us. Jane Austen's work is especially influential in that sense as they are romances with lots of societal backgrounds. Most of Austen's novels are following a strong female character who has a variety of struggles in her romantic life, but they also focus on the lives of others and how social relationships are formed. Sanditon comes to the forefront among other Austen novels in that sense because despite being incomplete, it has a special focus on the workers' rights and the economics of the era. Well, unfortunately, our knowledge about Sanditon doesn't come from reading the novel. Instead, we're obsessed with the masterpiece TV adaptation of the series as its pure greatness in our opinion. So far, we watched two seasons of Sanditon and we expect the third one to be as great as the previous ones. However, we also expect a true casting change that will transform the show. In the second season, we welcomed a bunch of new cast members to Sanditon, including Ben Lloyd Hughes as Alexander Colborn, Tom Weston Jones as Colonel Lennox, Rosie Graham as Allison Haywood, Alexander Vlahos as Charles Lockhart, Frank Blake as Captain Fraser, Maxim Eyes as Captain Carter, and Alois Webb as Augusta Markham. All these characters played significant roles that influenced the plot of the show, especially Lloyd Hughes and Weston Jones made their impact on the series by presenting themselves as the new love interests of the series. Their chemistry with the female lead Charlotte, played by Rose Williams, was also worth watching and impacted how we perceive the show in general. Lloyd Hughes said the following in a recent interview regarding his experience in Sanditon. Playing any good Jane Austen scene is all about what's not said. It's all about the subtext and the ellipses and the unrequited aspects of it, and I really loved that. I love that dynamic. I love not having everything in the text that just spells it out and having to almost tell one story with your eyes and another with the words, and then another with your physicality, your body language, and your interacting with that person. And Rose is just a powerhouse. She had such ownership of who Charlotte is. We believe his words reflect the atmosphere on the set of the show perfectly. Now, as we approach season three, which is likely to be released in April 2023, we expect a similar shift in the cast. Don't get us wrong, we're confident that the aforementioned names will be in the show as usual but we believe there will also be some comebacks. Yes, you guessed it right. We expect Theo James to return as Sidney Parker once again, so that he can have a proper closure with Charlotte, allowing her to follow new romantic adventures in her life. This situation will probably transform Charlotte's personality as a whole, as she will be more mature after such a cathartic face down. What do you think about Sanditon characters? Are you a fan of Theo James? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.